Let's start off this video by taking a look at some examples. Let's compare these two images. You can see that the one on the left has a much darker appearance than the one on the right. Additionally, overall, the image on the right has a much better quality. You can see the subject's face, more details, their hair does not blend into the background, and all of this was done using a tool in Photo Paint called Tone Curve. Tone Curve allows you to adjust the highlights, the lowlights, and everything in between. So let's take a look now at a photo of my son. Overall, it probably looks really good, but if you're really looking to get a good quality photo engraving, you can see right here, especially in the forehead area, it looks a little dark and the laser picks up everything. So it would really engrave that area dark. So we'll go to Adjust Tone Curve. Now I could click Auto Balance and see if that works. No, I don't like that. So I'm going to reset it. There are other presets that come along with Tone Curve. Additionally, additionally, if you find a setting that you like that you've done, you can save it to this folder as well. So I'm going to click on Lighten and click Open, and that looks pretty darn good. But what if we have to adjust it ourselves instead of using a preset? So let me go ahead and reset one more time. You can click little nodes on this line and drag. So I've clicked one in the middle, and I'm just going to start lightening this. That looks pretty good. But I want to bring in just a little bit of the darkness of the paint back in. So I can click down the bottom. I can bring in the dark, and this little guy up here went a little crazy, so I'm going to click and bring it back down. So now I've really lightened the photo, but now I also have some of the darkness of the paint. If I like this setting, I can save it. And since I have several images that were taken almost one after the other in this particular setting, it would be great if I could save it. So I will go to the little disk icon, and I'm going to call this one Cooper series as it I'm going to apply this to all the photos in the series and click on save and now I have it saved so I'm going to click OK and I have my image now the next time I want to apply that I can just go to adjust tone curve go to my saved items and the Cooper series is listed right in there and after all the photos have been run through tone curve you can see the difference from using tone curve and not using tone curve and how much brighter and more detailed the end result is. The next step would be to take this photo through Photograph, but you'll have to wait to the next video in this series for that information.